Good evening, and welcome to the Holy Spirit Block Talk Radio Show. I'm your host, Minister G.R. Hart, and I thank you all for tuning in. Uh, we have a wonderful show for you tonight, scheduled. Uh, we're talking about family matters, uh, Black Dallas matters, and we're talking about our conference uh, that we are doing um, next month, June 26, uh, 2016. Uh, this conference is going to be a wonderful conference. Um, it's going to be held at the JS Venue Plus uh, in Morrow, Georgia, uh, 1355 Mount Zion Road, Morrow, Georgia. And it's going to be a wonderful conference um, that we're dealing with the plight of the black family. And this is a year of family, people. And um, it's a year that are uh, coming together and rebuilding and restoring decades of pain and separation and heartache uh, from family and or family members has to begin. The healing uh, process has to begin uh, throughout all of our family members because we, we are about to really go through uh, some tr some tr troubling times and some challenging times uh, to say the least uh, in the upcoming years or uh, maybe even less than that after President Obama will leave office leave already in, in, in many major cities uh, Milwaukee, you know, Wisconsin Chicago, Arkansas, many rule not rule but urban cities uh, they have been cutting all types of programs even from the elderly Medicaid food stamps housing all these programs are being depleted as the first african-american president leaves office and what that tells us is that we're we're about to have another Katrina <laughs> uh, happening, but not just in New Orleans, but in every urban city where where unemployment is going to be at an all-time high. I know people are listening to, listening to that jackass, uh, part of my French, Donald Trump talking about uh, bringing jobs back uh, to America, but but listen what he's saying to you. When he talks about bringing jobs back to America, he's talking about bringing those jobs to the prison system. All these major corporations now, they have come from overseas and they're taking their jobs from overseas. Instead of paying someone $2 a day, now you get to pay them 20 cents, 25 cents a day, uh, or, or in, in the case of uh, in Georgia and the prison system, they get nothing. So now you have free labor all over again, and that's more enticing than paying somebody $2 a day or $7 a week. And that's what Donald Trump is trying to, trying to tell you. But you're so dumbed down and you're so dead that you're getting excited for something that is intended to lock up more and more black and brown people. Many corporations have threatened to leave the prison system if they cannot keep their jail occupied at 90%. So now, what do you do? You have to come up with, with new laws now to get them, to get them uh, either in juvie or in jail as early as 12 years old. So by the time they hit their third or fourth offense, they're looking at five, five, eight to ten years. And that's what they want. They, 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 they're wanting long-term prisoners now. And on top of all that, they're trying to 
take away your 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 your, your civil rights. This thing's about to get real ugly, people. And and also your freedom of speech. And people are so dark, so so lost, man, so dead. I mean, people are, are so focused on the NBA Finals, Scandal, being Mary Jane, BET Awards of all kind, NWCP Awards, all these award shows, all these reality TV shows, all the social media, media takeout, and guess who Kanye West do it, and guess what, you know, Beyonce doing it, and, and all these things. And all the while, they're preparing to kill you. Or better yet, to have you kill each other. You don't believe me? Take a look at what's going on in Venezuela right now. Where, where, where they have to hunt for food. And rodents. Because their entire financial system has collapsed. In that region. And, and, and they have no food and no water. People are killing each other and kidnapping kids for food and water. Murdering, murdering eld elderly, young people, babies, for survival. And yet it's in small print. Because what this, what the United States knows is that's just a test run for what's going to happen here. I said it way back in 2006, 2007. With that grant, with that gas joke. And folks thought we, 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 it was a gas shortage. How in the hell is it a gas shortage? When we had we have oil oil drills all over the world, and yet you run to the gas and you go to Walmart buying gas tanks and filling up your gas like you're gonna be out you're gonna be out of gas forever. Such a feel for people you are, and yet you walk in a church or a synagogue. I feel no evil, and not seen. How the enemy is just testing you out. That whole snow thing in it, Georgia. <laughs> that was no coincidence. How in the hell out of all these cities, just Atlanta, Georgia, in the city of Atlanta, has this freeze, and whereas you can't get nowhere. I mean, just gridlock. And they, they've said in the next 10 plus years, they're going to be an additional 2.5 million people living in Atlanta. Can you imagine some type of crises or, or, or disease breakout? Because they do. The enemy does. And, and they're preparing for it. And I know it sounds like I'm, I'm getting off the conference. but 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 I'm trying to really give you an idea of why we're talking about family family matters because when all this stuff breaks out it's going to take a village and it's going to take a family to ride this storm out because in the end we will win but just like in the Bible with Joseph when Joseph went out and prepared for a famine for seven years, how in the hell you think you 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 don't have to prepare for one? You sitting around here just depending on Walmart to be there for you, depending on whatever your local grocer is to be there for you, and they go and they and, and and let me tell you something, especially Walmart, the U.S. military gonna take those stores over and shut them bad boys down. And they're going to be camps. <laughs> I'll show you. Because they're big enough to hold a lot of people. They're going to be. They're going to pull out all that damn food. Before they fool you. And they're going to be. They're going to set them up as camp. And when you walk in there. As a prisoner. Then you're going to be shot. New World Order. My hope is people. Especially people of color begin to wake up and understand and, over and overstand that this is no joke. They're trying to kill us and they will stop at nothing 
nothing until they see it through. But yet, what they don't understand that we are the universe. The universe was made for us, for our good and for God's plan. And you, you can never wipe out the host <laughs> of a planet that was intended for them. But hey, a fool is a fool. So we, we're asking you guys to come out, man, and and um, really support this thing. Um, I believe there's a link uh, to the Eventbrite page that you can go to. And we're not asking for, for, for ten dollars or anything uh, cover charge, uh, but we are asking for donations because we're, we're we're trying to plan this thing out, man, and, and we're trying to and we're trying to strategize. Um, by creating businesses and communities and communities across the city, then hopefully throughout the state and state to state, and begin rebuilding structures and, and, and but yet from the mind first and from the family and from that village. You gotta put down them phones, man, and, and, and get to know your neighbors. You gotta get out that house, cut off that TV. And, and get the and get the fellowship with your neighbors again, and all these all these folks that are, are, that have a business online, I'm happy for you. And that's a great thing. But we're going to need buildings. We're going to need land because they're going to shut down the the the, 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 the uh, internet, so that won't do you damn good. And we need, we're going to need places to go for food, for weaponry, for clothing, for medicinal purposes. We're going to need those for our communities. And you can't do all that through cyberspace when you ain't got no more cyberspace. And this thing, and what we're doing, we're trying to prepare people and warn them of the severity of the subject because nobody is taking it seriously. You get all these conscious people going around lecturing and, and, and making money and selling great books and jewelry and, and incense and all those things and but nobody's planning strategy. We got black folks right, right now got businesses. And if you have a business, your business is going to is going to have to be a makeshift. This is how it was back in the day. The church did run the church. The church was a meeting place for voter registration. And any movement started in the back of the church. And that's what we're going to have to go back to people. Rebuilding these families up, having forgiveness, having understanding, having clarity, learning our neighbors, meditating and praying as a family. Because that's what it's going to take. It's going to take family. Won't take money too. But when they shut all that down, it's gonna be nothing but family. And all the preservations we have joined together to remain on this planet and to take back this planet as God first intended. I'm gonna take this break. And when I come back. I want to talk a little, little, little bit more about this um, about this um, conference and what you can expect uh, when you attend. Be back in just a moment.
and as you know um, that date has been changed to June the 26th uh, no longer June 12th but um, on June 26th uh, we'll be doing um, uh, doing the conference on June 26th and no longer June 12th and um, one of the things that we wanted to really talk about doing that conference is the plight of our young people um, how why is it that we're losing them uh, more and more young people are leave, even leaving the church and um, this is a, this is a really uh, serious concern um, to see that young people are, are so focused on you know all the the, the, the negative music uh, the negative award shows, everything is sex, 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 sex. Uh, the degradation of, of, of black women and black young girls, and and I always say, if if a black man is sitting sitting around all day long, rapping and calling a, a woman a bee and a hoe, eventually he gonna turn and start liking boys. Because <laughs> if your mindset of a woman. A God woman is that she's a bee and a hoe. Then what are you attracted to? <laughs> I mean, really. If you think that that about her, then, then hey man, I, I, I'm, I, I'm, 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 you suspect. God created women. Created one of the most powerful things. Women, women give life. That's why we call this earth what? Mother Earth. Because it breathes life. And God said to have life and have life more abundantly. Man said, hey, there's too many people. Let's kill them all. Let's wipe them out. Let, let, let's give them GMOs. Let's give them sugar. Let's give them all these things in their bodies that will help them die quicker. So we can we can gain the throne. People don't understand that this is a battle between good and evil. Good and evil. And folks who practice white supremacy and, and, and white privilege uh, have accepted Satan's rewards. Because it, that's what it is. You follow me and I'll reward you. Yet I've yet to have, to have anybody, any, anybody of color, I, I mean white, ever denounce white supremacy. Maybe Tim Weiss and that other sister. But rarely do you hear white folks saying, hey, this ain't fair. And they deserve to be treated just like me. You don't hear that. People that say, oh, just pray about it. Oh, the well, you know, those, those people are wrong. No, you're wrong. <laughs> because you, you have put yourself in the midst of that. And you're reaping the benefits. And you have not picked up your cross. You got to be mindful. You got to be mindful of what this world is trying to do and how it's manipulating people's minds and making folk, you know, and, and then everything's a lie from from the history to some of the some of the theology, the food, everything in order for you to, for you to have power. I'm talking about, I'm talking about white supremacy has to be a lie, a bold faced lie. And what is Satan? He's the author of lies. And I'm not trying to make this thing a black and white issue, but I, I just had to say that for a moment. But in this conference, uh, what we're trying to do is we're trying to do a, a one hour uh, live talk show with um, Brother Joseph Will, uh, Williams uh, from the Holy Spirit TV show as the host. And we're going to be talking about the plight of our youth. And also family matters and how can we gain back and get back to those days where, you know, it took a village man to raise a child. If I was down the street acting a fool, somebody four or five blocks down can call me and straighten me up. And then walk down my house and tell my mom. Or flag her down the street as she's driving down the road. It was done. 
it was done. He got slapped upside the back of the head, pinched on the ear, on the arm. Because I knew everybody in that neighborhood. Even blocks away. People used to say, what's your mama name? The Joneses, the Williams, the, the, the Jenkins, the Hardens, the Smith. Everybody knew everybody. You just tell, say the mama. You, you ain't got to say the last name. You say the first name. Miss Kathy. Miss Kathy. Ooh, where did she get home? I'm going to call her. And no longer do we have that. Now, you say something to a child. The mama about to go. It's going to come to your house ready to fight you. Again, you have fallen to this separate individualist type of lifestyle when everything dealing with African culture has to do with unity because that's how God created it. Not man's plan, but God's plan that you are able to connect with one another. And no longer do we have that. And we got to get that back. Because like I said, when thing when they shut the lights off, you ain't got no lights, you ain't got no power. <clears throat> Somebody got a generator. Somebody can make a, a rainwater. Because they're gonna ban they're gonna they're gonna ban you growing your own foods and, 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 and rainwater. Because Obama already signed these law these laws. He signed over 140 some laws. Basic laws of survival. Obama signed and banned them. They can come to your house and see a plant and destroy it. And while you was praising that man, he was sending you to the gas chamber. May God have mercy on his soul. So we're going to have to be really creative, man, on how we grow things and how we store things and how we hide things and get them from house to house. We're going to do it because it's in us. The universe responds to our rhythm. But what we have to do is when we unify, we cancel out all the snakes. See, the only reason you can't see a snake now, because you're so busy living your life with your kids and, and his kids, and you know, so you can't see nobody. Under unification and under, under God, spirituality wise, you started you started to see the rats in, in, uh, in your camp. I'm sure Dr. King knew some of those guys were haters. I know he did. I, same thing with Malcolm. But in this case, we got to get the, get them out of there. We can't sit there and, and deal with them because they black. Oh no! If you work for the devil, you work for the devil, and you must go. So we're going to be talking about a lot of that. I'm, I'm going to be giving a lot of information on different places you can go to uh, buy a business. I'm trying to get some law, uh, a lawyer. I have a lawyer friend of mine uh, to talk a little bit about family, about contracts, and about getting uh, building businesses in the community. Uh, I'm going to try to get a, um, a psychologist uh, out there uh, to talk about mental illnesses because that, that, that that's very prevalent uh, in the a black community, um, but but it's ignored. So I, I'm I'm trying to put together a panel of uh, of um, guests uh, who will uh, devote their free time just for a couple of hours on Sunday, and really uh, give us some really uh, professional advice on where and where we should go. I'm gonna have a fi financial advisor as well, uh, talking about uh, what it takes to get a building and own a building and creating a business and, and you know a platform and, and and so forth because right now there are opportunities out there for us to get to grab right now there are a lot of businesses that, that are convenience stores gas stations you name it uh, barbers beauty stores beauty salons you know um, that um, nail salons that are for sale and, and and they're at bargain basement prices and 10 20 of us come together can buy that building 
and then buy the next building and then build the meat market and build the dry goods store because that's, that's what you're going to need people so a lot of dry goods 90 seconds and things of that nature what an awesome time it will be and, 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 and this is that season God's called me and this is my calling that season that we begin to, to store our warehouses with all types of supplies and batteries, uh, bags, whatever. Pharmaceuticals, natural herbs. Because they're coming, people. 60 they're going to shut this thing down and they're coming. When I say they're coming, I'm talking about the government, the police, everybody. They're coming. And we must prepare ourselves and weather the storm and then take back everything that the oppressors and the devil has stole from us. That's what I came to talk about. And I hope you guys are able to come out um, and voice your opinion on the issues that we will be talking about give us some feedback we'll, we'll, we'll have a lot of uh, networking going on and, and, and we'll keep in contact we'll keep in contact with everybody uh, dealing with this conference because we're trying to do these conference on a monthly basis uh, these con conference a uh, conference initially uh, is going to deal with a dialogue and also healing and forgiveness and so we ask you to come out on June 26 uh, 2016 between 3 p.m. and 7 p.m. If you come at 3 p.m., you'll be part of the um, Holy Spirit Radio uh, TV uh, broadcast live. That'll be it from 3 p.m. to 4. And 4.15 to 7 o'clock, uh, we'll be doing the conference in itself. And um, wonderful speakers are coming out. We have a health care expert. Uh, we have a brother that owns a, a, beauty, beauty, um, a beauty store. Uh, he and his wife, uh, they're going to come out and, and, and give you advice on how to start your own business whether it be a beauty store you know or, 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 or an IT company and they're going to talk about how he he and his wife together as a family uh, built that uh, beauty store and they have a chain of stores uh, as we speak in some other businesses uh, that they're they're in they're, they're, they're uh, engaging in as well so a lot of wonderful people that's going to be here I hope you all can kind of attend and if you cannot uh, please share this uh, this uh, show with someone and maybe they can come out to Atlanta on June 26th and be part of the taping or be, be part of the, the conference itself again we're going to be giving out a lot of information that you can take back home and, and decide if you want to invest in this or get a family member who may got some money and hey maybe I can I can go to uh, Rome Georgia and buy that gas station and, you know or something like that something like that but it, 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 we, we are so serious about this and the time is now and I just want to come on tonight uh, not speak too long but really uh, give you an idea of what this conference is going to be about and we're so excited about it and we're so happy uh, to bring it to you uh, here and hopefully we will have these conferences throughout the states not just in Georgia but in Florida and so forth and um, again June 26 um, at the JS venue plus in Morrow Georgia uh, family matters, black dollars matters. My, my, the host will be uh, yours truly, as well as uh, brother Joseph Williams, life coach, motiva motivational speaker as well. Listen, my time is up, and I hope you all, you guys were inspired by this thing. And um, as we're always saying, pardon, love yourselves, it's to know yourselves, and to know yourselves comes by spending time with God. Peace, love you, and God bless.